Can you believe it's been a month already? Well, four weeks. We had the March litters. Now we're getting ready for April litters. We've got eight does bred. I mean, some nest boxes again. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stuff some nest boxes. I already got cardboard floors put in. I used those plastic floors last year, uh, last month. And they worked fine. Um, I don't like them as much as the cardboard, so I'm going back to the cardboard. Um, if one of the mothers pottied in the nest box, um, at least with the cardboard, it would get wet and it would soak through and it would drip out and then dry. With the plastic, it didn't drip out. Oh, the plastic just held it in there. And um, I lost which only had one doe that was pottying in her nest box. Uh, she had 10 and she lost at least five. I think she lost six. I can't remember. We'll have to look. Oh, just finishing up these nest boxes. There's eight of them, so <laughs> there's quite a few to stuff. Um, before we get to looking at the babies, um, I had done video a little while ago I bought two different styles of water bowls and the ones these are the ones that I like the best they were the ones that screwed into the floor um, you could easily pour into them but the rabbits couldn't tilt them or break them uh, they were very heavy so the rabbits didn't chew them uh, what I didn't like was this one was too small. I had put them out in some of my grow up pens to test them. And they were too small for that, which they do make a bigger size. Uh, but since they were too small for those, I was bringing them in for the brood does. And when I twisted them onto the cage, my wire that I make my cages out of is a heavier gauge and it snapped that right off. Um, so they will not work with the cages that I use because my gauge is just too big. Um, I don't know and it might be worth trying <laughs> if you bought them and then figured out a way to foul the, the slot. Um, what it is, it's like a plastic tab and that tab has little slots filed into them and then the wire fits in those slots and it keeps the bowl from tilting. Well, those slots, those little slits, weren't big enough for my cages, but you might be able to uh, use some kind of saw or a file or something to make those slots bigger. I don't know. Um, I'm looking at a minimum of 50 cages that I have to do that to. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, that is too time consuming to sit there and make those slots bigger on 50 plus cages. I'm just not going to do it. So, what I've done, one more minute, <laughs> what I've done is, I like these, I like the other ones better, but they didn't work. Uh, these do work. Again, these were too small for my brood does. So, but they are awesome for individual <laughs> rabbits. Uh, your bucks or your show pens or you know just something that has one rabbit in it or maybe even two young ones. Um, I, I really wouldn't recommend two young ones but you could probably get away with it. Especially if you water twice a day. This would be okay. But for the red does that has litters that will be drinking water by the time they're you know less than three weeks old they're drinking but uh, they do make them bigger and so i've gone and bought uh some of these bigger ones for my brood does and i'm going to use smaller ones for my bucks and my show pens but these i'm going to use for my grow out pens and my brood pens all right now, we'll go yeah, look so at we eggs. here we have Har Fargo, and she is a Bazooka Joe and Benelli doe. And Benelli was not my doe; she was um, a different breeder's. And I got the choice doe out of her. 
that breeding and so I ended up with Fargo um, and these are her eight kits now she kindled eight and she still has eight she has uh, one solid red which will probably end up being light in color um, most of the time a broken to broken will produce a light colored red uh, but we'll see how it turns out actually it doesn't look all that bad uh, the other seven are really nicely broke or other six are n nicely broken and then she has this one little Charlie and I'm crossing my fingers that it survives um, I have to look it up um, these kits are somewhere between three and four weeks old um, I don't think they're quite four weeks yet but I think they're getting close and then here we have J6 and she kindled six solid reds and you can see the color difference these guys are much darker than that red out of the broken to broken but she kindled six and she still has six and they're about the same age somewhere between three and four weeks old And then this is Morning Star, and Morning Star has six kits, and these guys will almost ready to be weaned. Um, they're like seven weeks old, so I'll be weaning them uh, probably next week. And she's done real well with hers, so we're looking forward to see how they grow well. Okay, and here we have Dora. Dora kindled eight, and she has six left. Um, she's the one that has the three solids. She's also was bred to Bazooka Joe, so these are Bazooka Joe babies. Uh, she's got two pretty marked brokens, and then three solids, and then she also has one Charlie that I'm hoping to hang on to. Don't know if it's a buck or a doe yet, but hopefully it survives. And then here's Mountaintop. She raised three of hers, and again, these guys are about seven weeks old, so they're going to be weaned probably next week. But they're looking good and active. Okay, and here's Paragold, the blue doe. She's the one, she kindled 10, and she is the one that used her nest box as a litter box um, out of 10 she managed to raise she still has four left she's got one solid and three brokens uh, and again these guys are three to four weeks old these guys are starting to catch up they were small and weak uh, she just wasn't keeping them clean and wasn't taking real good care of them but she finally figured it out and now she's got four left and she's doing real good with them now um, but they have some have catching up things, Sally and she had um, if you remember she had five whites and she still has the five whites and then she had three solids um, here's one of them which is a steel and then one of the others I gave over here to Rosie to balance out the litters but I'm hoping to have a really nice white buck out of this litter because I'd like to keep a white buck. And then here is the litter I'm really excited about. This is Rosie and her litter. She had four. She had this little chestnut and this chestnut is a buck. Um, I sexed them when they were about three weeks old so hopefully I've got them correct. And if I am correct then that one is a buck. And then here's uh, Mustang Sally's steel which I did not sex <laughs> they're in the water bowl and then here are the two broken chestnuts they both appear to be does so I will keep probably at least one maybe both um, I'm actually going to use them in my white program um, I was going to get out of whites, and then I decided oh, I'll keep two white does and a buck, and 
um, I'm reducing my reds so since these guys um, are broken but they have a white parent I'm gonna go ahead and keep a couple of these does and they're gonna be called my white does uh, definitely keeping the broken steel uh, it's just going to be a meat project just to produce meat. I have a few people that ask me all the time if I have any calls. And uh, I just don't have the calls that they want number wise. So I'm going to keep some whites and I'm going to keep these broken chestnut and this broken steel dough so that I can produce uh, meat Last but babies. not least is um, Bigger's babies these are her two does she's got one broken doe and one black doe and then over here are her bucks she's got a black buck and a broken buck she had two broken bucks uh, one of them died though so we only have the four out of her litter um, but we have a pair of brokens and a pair of black, so I guess you can't okay, beat that. Okay, as far as the show goes, here's Daisy. She has already earned her legs. Um, she's just waiting until she reaches senior status. And then I'll take her and get her registered and um, send off for her grand champion. She's already got her legs. So she's, she's actually been bred. She's one of the ones that's due here in the next few days. And then here's Noble. Noble has four legs. Noble cannot be registered and she cannot be granted because she does not have a full pedigree. Um, she is purebred New Zealand. It's just the father didn't come with a pedigree and that's that. Uh, she is now senior and so um, I will be breeding her pretty soon. She is just shy of senior weight, so she is going to be a slightly smaller doe, uh, but I have I plan to breed her to a really large buck. Um, so she should be able to produce some nice babies. Uh, actually, I have two new rabbits coming here in, oh, what is it, three weeks from now, I think. And I'm not gonna run the surprise. I'll show them to you when they get here. But I do have two new rabbits coming. Um, a guy in Wisconsin, I think. <laughs> He's going to bring them down to me. We're going to meet at a show in Illinois. And I'm going to pick up the two rabbits there. So I'm really looking forward to that. Then here's cross a -tot, and cross a -tot has been getting very good comments, but she is a junior. And um, let's see, she does have, does she have a leg? I think she has one leg. I can't remember. Um, but she's been up against some stiff competition, and so she hasn't um, done as well as I would like. But I believe she will. She just needed to mature up a little bit. And she is just about there. She's uh, pushing seven and a half, between seven and a half and eight pounds. So she's big enough now that she can actually compete. Uh, so in the upcoming weeks, I'm looking forward to seeing what, how she does. Uh, now she also has um, a little nip in her ear. And so some judges will dock for that and some won't. And then here's Mina the black doe. She is still a junior and she's already earned two legs. She has been doing fabulous at the shows. And she says hello up close and personal. <laughs> she's very curious about the camera. Anyway, we're going to continue showing her. Uh, and hopefully we'll get at least one more leg on her. I will probably let her rest for a week or two. And then I'm going to bump her up to the intermediate class. Um, that way we can go ahead and get her older leg on her. And then she will qualify for grand junior champion. Bug. This is one of uh, Bazooka Ju Joe's babies. And he has earned a leg. So he's going to continue being shown until I sell him. And 
and this is the same this is a saw guy baby and he has earned a leg and last but not least is this guy and this is RJ and uh, he is out of Rogers and J6 he's been showing uh, he's been falling in the middle of his class um, not last so not anything to cry over but he hasn't taken first and won a leg yet either so nothing to brag about uh, but these three bucks will be up for sale at some point probably when I'm done right, showing guys, them. that's it for this week um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these nest boxes in with the doughs we got eight doughs bread that's gonna be due in the next few days so they all need nest boxes and then I have some doughs that have now reached uh, senior status uh, bucks and does actually uh, so I need to get some updated dates weights on some of these guys so I can get that put in the program but anyway thanks for watching I hope you all had a wonderful Easter we had a good time uh, I went to uh, Oklahoma and showed there uh, the day before Easter and Mina earned a leg there and that was the only news for there the week before that I haven't done the update on it I went to Benton Arkansas and there was only me and one other guy that showed up I took six rabbits he brought two so there wasn't enough rabbits and there wasn't enough exhibitors to brag about so um, I just went ahead and came home. There was no point in showing when I couldn't earn a leg or anything. But I did get to meet up with the new guy, and I really enjoyed visiting with him. And um, that was pretty much it. So, thanks for watching, and until we speak again, God bless.